Greetings! In this video we're going to take a look at some of the new features of the Bible Analyzer Image Viewer in version 4.8. One of the first things you may notice is underneath the titles is a new preview or thumbnail image which is a reduced version of the image that's loaded on the right. And one of the features of this image is if you click in it, find a spot that you uh, want to go to, you click that spot and the main image will scroll to that spot. You can click another spot and it will scroll back. This makes it very easy to maneuver around in larger images and be able to uh, get there uh, by visually without just guessing. Also there's some new buttons. Here's a fit button which will reduce the image to the window size of the main image on the right. It's a toggle button. You just click it again and it'll go back. Also it has an F hotkey so you just press the F key and it will do the same thing. But some of the most notable features of uh, version 4.8 of the image viewer is its interactivity. And you can see that by placing a mouse cursor over a mapped hotspot and one here are the names. And if you have the exhaustive library Bible people loaded and you put the cursor over a name you'll see that the summary information of that person pops up and gives you a preview of that person. If you click the name it will open up the uh, li exhaustive library of Bible people in the Bible Analyzer Dictionary panel to where you can see all the data on that person. Also, the scripture references are also hot spots. Just put the cursor over them and uh, there they will appear. At the bottom of these also mapped are these dates. They're mapped to Usher's Annals of the World. So you just put the cursor over a date and you'll get a preview of what Usher has to say about that date. And also Another interesting feature is if even if it's resized, you'll find that these hotspots still work. Even whatever size you have uh, selected for the image, they will work as well. But one more feature that has a hotspot, which is rather new, is an embedded image. And you'll see here, here's a small thumbnail of an image, which is embedded within the large image. And you put the cursor over that, you will get a pop-up preview, or actually a rendering of the full size image and take it off and it'll go away. So this is makes it very convenient to put images within images for teaching purposes or whatever and uh, you can if you want a better view you just click the uh, actually put the cursor over the image and you'll get a pop-up of exactly what it is. But we have another chart that's uh, made in this way with even more features and it's called God's Bloodline which was made by Robert Rouse of SoulLiberty.com and he allowed us to use it and let's get it to where you can see the whole thing let's make it fit but you can see this is a very detailed and comprehensive chart it has over 840 names of every person that can trace their ancestry in the Bible back to Adam and Eve and it also has the mapped hot spots as well it starts with God here near the middle and he created Adam and as you can see, even though this image is much smaller than its actual size, the hot spots still work. You just put the cursor over them. Also, the image hot spots work. And there's one of Joshua. Here's one of Moses parting the Red Sea. Just put the mouse cursor over an image, and you'll get the full-size image. But each one of the 840 names is mapped to the exhaustive dictionary of Bible people, and you can click that to go to the uh, Dictionary of Bible People or Library of Bible People and also there are links in the Library of Bible People that will go back to this chart and scroll to the name when you click the link. So it's tied very closely together with that Library of Bible People. Let's go back to full size and you can see that when it's in full view we have some quick index or quick links here. Say for instance you want to see what uh, go to David's entry. You just click that and it will automatically scroll to the coordinates of David's entry and there's his summary information. You also have images of uh, David and others. You'll find that the red line here is the God's bloodline that is. It goes directly from Adam and then it goes to David then it splits two ways and from that is one line from Solomon the other one through Nathan and it goes to Mary and Joseph which of course were the parents of Jesus Christ. And this is a very uh, unique and uh, helpful chart. You'll see here, here's a map. It shows the 12 tribes. You just click, put the cursor over that. Of course, you can't see it all, but that uh, map will pop up just as well. But 
This is just some of the features of the new Bible Analyzer Image Viewer. We'll fit this back down to size. You'll see that down here we have a, a chart and a graph. Over here we have a table. We have more information. This, this chart is completely loaded with information about Bible people and, as we said, linked to every person that can trace their ancestry back to Adam and Eve. This will be included with our AVP bundle, our Exhaustive uh, Library Bible People bundle, and uh, it's tied uh, tightly together with it, and we just think that uh, this really helps when a person studying persons and people of the Bible, and we hope you find it of value. Thank you.